Hello everyone. So my Kenmore electric range, the bake and the broil function broke. And I decided to fix this thing. So over the last week, I have uh, tested the heating elements. I have replaced and returned the thermometer because that was not it. And in the end, it seems like the board is what it is. And it's considering I just took it apart literally a few minutes ago. And I can see that. Oh, where is it? Right there. You can see that one right there. Right in the center is burnt out and it's not even touching the whole the metal. So there's got to be an issue at least there. But I want to just offer a couple pointers. One of them is that you do not need to, at least on one of these models, remove the face cover to get this whole thing apart. Uh, I almost did and I'm glad I did not. Another is to open this uh, little ribbon cable here, which connects here. If you're not familiar with these, you basically need to pull this tab up. So you can see it kind of moves a little bit, but you get, you can actually did it with my fingers, but just popped it up on both sides and the cable comes right out easily. Now another video I posted is removing these clips here and they were very, very difficult to figure out. You should check my other video, but essentially you will have a little set of mini clips in the center and you want to squeeze those like this with the tweezers and pull that middle pin out after which taking this apart is a breeze. Now, the one of the other difficulties is the bottom board is connected to the top board via here. So when you kind of take it apart, be careful not to just twist it and take it apart gently. I mean, obviously this whole process is kind of gentle and it takes a little while because there's clips essentially all along all sides. And that, that's really what you gotta do. You remove these two pins that I just kind of showed you. There's really not that much screwing it in, but you just gotta go edge by edge, take this thing apart, and eventually you can get to it. Now, hopefully that helps because I, I watched a bunch of videos of just replacing the whole board, but no tips on just kind of taking the board apart itself. And I'll also, um, here, if you're having trouble with one of the, the black wire here, you need to get like a super, super skinny flathead, like something for like repairing, I don't know, for iPhones or something like that, and kind of like stick it into the crack of the connector and kind of lightly wiggle it, and you should be able to get it out. So yeah, I hope this helps. Uh, as I said, I've not soldered or fixed anything yet, but I'm glad to see that there is clearly a problem on the board. So yeah, hope that helps.